Welcome to Pure Experiences. This is the series on Knowledge Sutra where we are discussing the basics of spirituality. After exploring a few paths and after listening to a few gurus, any seeker will be surprised to discover that all paths are saying different things. All gurus are talking something different. Even in a single path, if you listen to two different gurus, there is slight difference in their opinions and teachings. When you enter spirituality, it looks like a cacophony of opinions. Everybody is playing their own tune here. At least to a newcomer, this will be apparent that everybody is telling their own truth. In this path, X is true. On the other path, X is false. Y is true. On the third path, Y is completely forbidden. It is a sin and so on. Why is there so much difference in the teachings, especially if all of them are labeled as truth? This will be your first question as soon as you get a little bit of experience in spirituality. Even your own guru or guide will keep changing the teachings. One day he tells you, time is an illusion. The existence is timeless. And immediately he says, Everybody should attend my class tomorrow exactly at 7 a.m. And an intelligent seeker will be confused. If time is an illusion, how can I arrive at 7 a.m.? For one student, the guru has a special recipe of practices. For the other student, it is a general practice. It doesn't look like that your guru is honest here. One guru will say, this word means this. And if you open another book, if you listen to another teacher, he will say, no, this word means something else. Why is there a contradiction in teachings? Hundred years ago, a particular path was completely valid. Everybody said it was the ultimate truth. Today, it is extinct. Nobody even knows the name of that path. Three thousand years ago, this scripture was very much reputed. Now, it is simply a historic artifact. Nobody believes it. Why does the spiritual knowledge keep changing? Essentially, this will be a big question mark for you that how come the truth is variable? Which one is true? Which one is not? So, today we are going to lift the curtain and reveal the real truth. Today we are going to solve this puzzle. So, surprisingly, truth is really variable. The fact is, truth changes with teachings and with paths, with gurus, with time. So it looks like that uh, whatever is labeled as truth depends on uh, many things. Especially it depends on uh, the capability of the student. Those who are less capable, they get something which they can grasp. And those who are more capable, they get something higher. Isn't that discrimination? Yes. Because all seekers are not equal. They have not progressed equally. This is the bitter truth. But the good news is, all seekers have potential. So those who have the potential, they are prepared for a higher truth by the means of something which they can grasp. So there are levels of knowledge. And there are different truths and different kinds of knowledges simply because there are different kinds of seekers. Spirituality is a very subjective and personal matter which we discussed in previous parts. There cannot be one opinion here. There cannot be one truth. There cannot be something which is ultimate and is accepted by everybody. Because it is totally dependent on the person. The person has a choice to regard something as true or something as false. And the person is free to like or dislike the truth also. Probably this one thing is true, but I hate it. Anybody can say like this, they are free to do that. And I'll take something else which is sweeter, more appealing, more beautiful, according to my taste, as the ultimate truth. And therefore, in spirituality, nothing can be forced. It is not a law, it is not a constitution of a country that everybody may, must obey. No, this is a free country. And that can be a little bit of... surprise for a newcomer because a newcomer does not know where to go what to do and when everybody is doing their own thing and every teacher is teaching their own thing confusion is guaranteed 
in Venezuela it was recommended that start from a path and a guide which you like most no formula was given to you that look this is the ultimate truth this is the best path you take it and profit no there is no such thing in spirituality it is an exploration and it is very very individual very very personal so start from a point where you are comfortable something which you can grasp something you do not resist you do not hate if you love it if you love the guru yes start there whatever becomes your experience is your truth now and slowly you will progress if you don't start from the selected path then probably you won't be able to start at all because it is a zoo of spirituality so which is the lowest level which is the highest where should i begin this matter is also very very personal subjective and i am also going to give you my own personal opinion this should not be taken as the ultimate fact which is about the levels of knowledge or levels of truth so just to convey the point just to make you understand i have divided the whole spirituality into 10 levels remember you can always add or remove your own levels depending on your own opinion and your own experience your own knowledge this is not written in stone and this is not being imposed on all the spiritual people nobody is authority here so these are the 10 very subjective and arbitrary levels of knowledge and depending on where you are on which level you are a different teaching will be given a different path exists and a different guide will be available so the first level is which is the highest is the level of the whole here we come to know the whole existence whatever is also call the level of union or non duality here it will be known that existence is one there are no divisions and you are that existence and obviously this is not a easy thing to digest why is this final because there is nothing beyond the whole existence this is the final this is the last and the teaching here is that it is one oneness those who don't get this they are on the second level where there is duality now there is me and something which appears before me the world the body the people all the experiences of objects in the mind this is the level of duality where the experience is separate from the experiencer there is no union here there is a division at the third level the experiencer is dropped that means the self realization is not achieved and here there is only experience that is the truth and the experience is seen as unified field of vibration some parts may call it energy some parts may call it a memory it is non physical and non mental or you can say para physical and para psychical the prefix para means beyond so beyond world and beyond mind this is the field of vibrations those who are at this level they can grasp this thing they can understand this thing they can see it and that is the final truth for them below this level is the level of universal mind the seeker at this level knows everything the truth as a mind big mind which is one and this is spaceless timeless non local non temporal what is here all kinds of structures are found here so the world will be seen as a mental structure the body will be seen as a mental structure and the mind is already a mental structure but it is beyond space and time but it is not seen as a vibration or memory or energy these structures are taken as real reality those who are not at this level they wouldn't be able to understand this even a bit but those who are at this level they will see it clearly but they will not understand anything about it that will be unreachable for them the fifth level is the level of non individuality where the universality is not really apparent but one is seen as not individual and it is parapsychical here the laws of the mind form the ultimate reality or the ultimate truth although this is very mysterious kind of level about which uh, direct experience is not available because the individual dissolves here there is nobody to report back it is very similar to the universal the level number 6 is of individuality and the individual here is not a human but a 
mental structure sometimes it is called causal body soul or the latent memory or the seed body there are many names depending on the parts just like i said everybody is playing their own tune it is very confusing for a newcomer although they are talking about the same thing this level number 6 and here birth is the truth death is also true and this is happening in time although no space there are no places really but there is individual the individual is the truth and it is taking births and it is also dying reincarnation which is law of the mind one of the law that is taken as truth i am the causal body here this much can be grasped by the seeker level number 7 belongs to the non physical phenomena here the individual is a non physical body who is residing in non physical worlds this level is mental but not physical it is paraphysical but there is no knowledge of causal body the individual thinks that i am the non physical body which can take any form has many powers and so on that is their truth this much is known that whatever am i experiencing is not physical whatever bodies i am having is not physical that much is known below this level is probably your familiar level of knowledge which is about this person human being but the mind part which means the intellect emotions your ego the individual as a human being and the person here will say yes i am something more than the body or the matter but i am this mind i think i feel this i who has desires and this person lives a life of this mental entity although he has no idea about the non physical causal uh, nothing else is will be known this person will be the final truth for for a seeker for a student who is at 8th level and believe me or not it is possible to go below this level the 9th level is world body and society here the individual thinks i am a body physical body with two hands two legs one head i am either rich or poor i am either relative of this or that i live in this house i have this address i have this job position in the society is important and the world is real the world takes on a really great importance the wars the politics the religion other people they matter a lot but uh, this kind of person has not much interest in mind or intellect or ego or feelings or emotions or arts or even sciences completely involved in the world but does not know what is this body also because that is the level which is below this level here the body is matter the world is obviously matter and the matter is inanimate here we totally get rid of the person the society psychology mind intellect ego all these things do not matter because it is all matter inanimate physical and this is the domain of physics and chemistry as you must have guessed a little bit of biology also this is the world of physical sciences where everything is reduced to matter and therefore this is also called the materialistic level probably there is nothing below this because you cannot find anything lower than this matter is ultimate just like there there is nothing beyond the first level there is nothing below the last level so here the person neglects everything and focuses on only the matter part now i know this is going to ignite a lot of debate no they you forgot this level and this level is false which you have included here like this there can be debates so just like i said it is simply an illustration which i cooked up just to explain there can be levels of knowledge somebody can say no i am above the first level you don't know you are ignorant yes it is possible very much possible but the point here is that there are levels of knowledge these are some examples of the levels and a student or a seeker can be at any level ignore the details focus on the essence of levels so you can immediately see that those who are at the 10th level they have nothing to do with the reality of society or the body or anything body is nothing special for them those who are at the level of the world and society they are the individual the mind the intelligence are of less importance less real those who are at the level of the ego they call themselves human beings which is perfectly valid the human body and the human mind is the final truth for them and believe me majority of people are like this almost 99.999% they are at the level number 8 as soon as they know a little bit about the intellect ego and the illusion of the person 
they reach the number 7 and they start calling themselves seekers spiritual person but they are still stuck at the non physical stuff or as etheric energies and so on and i think most of the seekers are at this level a few come to know the secrets of death and birth they can manipulate their causal bodies and so on they can find their past lives and so on so you can see that as you go up in the levels the knowledge increases or you can say the perimeter of the knowledge increases area of this circle of knowledge increases and it does not make the knowledge which is below invalid it simply makes it a subset of the higher level so knowledge at the lower level is always a subset of the knowledge at the higher level for example at the level of vibrations the universal mind does not disappear the structures in the universal mind will be seen as energy memory or vibration that's all they will be called and there will be unformed energy and formed vibration and potential energy and so on probabilistic existence that will be a superset of the universal mind but as soon as there is self realization this vibration energy will be seen as false but it won't disappear it will simply become a subset now there are two things here one side is everything which can be experienced in any form on the the other element is the experiencer which is my essence now you can call the experiencer as the spirit or the essence of the existence that will be called truth and the level of non duality this distinction also disappears yes there will be experiencer there will be something to experience but they will become a subset of the totality this is the set of all sets you can say in mathematical language the whole so obviously a teacher who is teaching at a higher level will not be understood at somebody a seeker who is at a lower level and obviously no spiritual teacher will be understood by materialistic people worldly people i think it is becoming clear for you now some light bulbs are turning on above your head as you listen to me and that is why the teachings take various forms and the truth that can be grasped by that seeker at that level is given it is not that the higher will not be told it is told but as soon as the guru realizes that no he did not understand this thing it is not a proven fact for him or her he could not grasp the evidence right now he is not ready for that so the lower teaching will be given and it will be told that this is the truth and a new practice will be given which prepares that seeker for the next level and this climbing of the levels is called spiritual progress some people will understand these levels those who are at the higher end but those who are not for them this will sound like a fairy tale imaginary theory so nothing to worry but at least you know the reason why teachings are different on different paths why different gurus tell different kind of stories of spirituality you can derive a rule out of this observation which is the truth at the lower level will be false at the upper level and the truth at the upper level will be true at the lower level also so at the level of vibrations and experiencer and so on there is still world there are still atoms and molecules and chemicals there is still body but it will be seen as false they do not disappear but they are understood as false as soon as you go down you will see that the upper truth holds the higher truth will, will not become false if you go down it is still true that there is duality there is non duality there is vibration and universal mind these things will be seen as the truth but from the perspective of the lower level so in other words that which is true at the higher levels will always be true at all the lower levels that which is uh, true at the lower levels will always be false at the higher levels so the truth will keep changing as you progress it is easy to understand now but uh, what is the ultimate as i said everybody is free to go beyond the ultimate there are no rules here do not get entangled into what is the final start searching you are a seeker there are no authorities here to tell you that this is final keep seeking sometimes we say that final truth is that which satisfies the seeker and that can happen at any level once the satisfaction is here you need not seek further and uh, that will be your progress that will be your final goal of the life spiritual goal the goal will not change into something higher but if you are not satisfied if you see the higher truth then immediately your goal will reset 
to something higher and the seeking begins again now you find a new guide or your existing guide will be able to guide you further otherwise you simply enjoy with your final truth the ultimate truth so we say that the truth depends on the context of the level of progress of the student or whatever is prevalent in those times and countries that will be taken as final truth the contextual truth can be categorized in three ways that which is will be called truth that which is not will be called false and that which is not but still accepted as truth will be called relative truth so somebody who says i am the causal body knows that the physical body is not true that is not me but still for the practical purpose because there is a need to stay alive to seek and to progress and the physical body will be taken as truth will be accepted that will be called the relative truth so whenever you receive the teaching try to categorize it into one of these three parts so the puzzle is solved the guru says time is an illusion so he is probably giving you a teaching of 7th or 8th level and when he says everybody should be present here 7 o'clock tomorrow that is the teaching or an instruction of 9th or 10th level when a scientist says that a particle is a distribution of probabilities simply mathematical object and probably he's talking about uh, some higher level there which is of the vibrations or energy or even beyond that but then then the same scientist says that if you mix oxygen and hydrogen you get water now he's talking about the 10th level matter so this 10th level does not become false because uh, some higher teaching was given it is a subset the fact that there is water will be accepted as truth but relative truth in this context of the 10th level everybody should get drinking water and uh, the water is polluted here in this country that is the truth of the level number 9 here the scientist or the seeker cannot say it is simply molecules drink it no it is not possible that will not be accepted so like this you need to examine the teachings facts truths carefully some things which which you could not understand which is of higher sometimes it is taken as truth on faith my guru is telling it probably it is true or this great books or this scientific theory says it probably it is true but that acceptance will not make you progress you will need to research you will need to seek search try to verify the truth of it and only then you can be promote it to that level once it becomes true for you if it is simply blind faith blind belief then you stay at that lower level simply knowing the words which somebody else is speaking so there is another rule that you will get a guide or a path which is exactly according to your ignorance which will be exactly suitable to the level at which you are even if you manage to get a path or a guide which is significantly higher than your level the guide will come down to your level and will teach you things which you can grasp i will start from your level you can say that is the kindness and compassion of the guide but most of the teachers will simply send you to somebody who can teach you at your level this is very very natural it is automatic that you will be attracted to a teacher whom you can grasp whom you can understand whom you see as wise and intelligent and if you are not on that level then obviously you won't be attracted to that teacher so you will be attracted to somebody who is one or two steps above this is generally seen but there can be exceptions so your path will depend on uh, what attracts you what you find as uh, appealing what you like and the choice of paths can be made depending on the level you are on or you can say you can choose a path depending on at which level you want to reach what is the attractive option for you out of all these levels so again there can be lots of opinions here and uh, good or bad advices and i am also trying here just for illustration purpose i want to show you which path will take you to which level so we'll start from the bottom the bottom most is the inanimate matter you're already there the path of common man reaches here and is slightly higher into the society body and the world where there are soft sciences instead of physics there will be medical science social science or uh, political science 
so that much is enough to earn your bread and butter that is what is taught in your schools and colleges and it is sufficient for a good life to survive nicely as a human body this much knowledge is enough so the path of common man man will take you up to level 10 or 9 if you want to improve yourself more than an average person then there is the path of self improvement where you can educate yourself endlessly learn all the arts and sciences become more and more intelligent more caring more loving and that is the egoic path which means i want my improvement and many people are doing it so the path of self improvement will take you to the level 8 it will make you a good person a better person better than the average the path of powers occult powers will take you to the level number 7 where you will encounter the non physical bodies and non physical worlds your world view will expand greatly met that is probably the limit of the path of powers there is some potential in the path of powers to take you one or two levels higher depending on your talent you will come to know that i need to do something more to reach the higher levels and there comes the path of actions which has some uh, do's and good don'ts how to be a uh, good soul how to be an evolved causal body that uh, transcends your current birth this extends into many many births human lives so there is the path of action it will take you to causal body or even to the non individualistic path because uh, the final outcome of path of action will be dissolution of the causal body also called the liberation in some of the paths not all they all have some different definitions of liberation which i need not say because it is very clear the path of surrender will unite you with the universal mind probably that is the goal of surrender to become the whole manifested creation or the creator to dissolve in that but they will not know anything beyond this the path of energy introduces the underlying reality of vibrations or the unmanifest we can call it goddess also so the path of energy will take you to the third level and there is a potential in the path of energy to take you to the first the energy can unite with the source of energy which is you there is a possibility in the path of energy to do that although it happens rarely in my opinion the path of discipline will take you to duality it will give you the taste of self realization and there is a potential in the path of discipline to reach non duality to attain the state of samadhi or yoga or non duality it is very powerful path and the path of knowledge directly takes you to non duality it is the direct path there are no stops on the path of knowledge either you get it or you don't get it if you don't you fall down somewhere where whatever you can grasp you can again start from there so this is one way to choose your goals and your paths and accordingly you can you will get your guide automatically if you reach a lower guide the lower guide will say i think you already know these things i'm sending you to my guru or guru's guru somebody who is much farther than him and if you encounter a guru who is at very high level he will say probably you're not ready for this path i'm sending you to somebody who is below or you join my other class first something like this happens and you settle exactly at a level which is right for you and this process can take a little bit of time it cannot happen magically it is simply exploration experiment now the question is why did i tell you all these things what was the purpose of introducing this very very complex matter to a newcomer it is for your benefit very few people know this multi layered knowledge that there is such a thing and they keep running here and there from post to pillar in search of the ultimate knowledge and all they find is a variety garden variety of opinions and they do not progress so remember this thing even if you think it is useless right now because these things will be realized farther on your path remember just one thing that without knowing this multi layered knowledge concept there will be no progress you will keep running horizontally if you want to go vertical you should consider this multi layered or multi tiered structure of spirituality if you don't know how to progress probably you will never progress there is this vertical path 
If you don't understand multi-layered knowledge, you will not understand the landscape of spirituality. The newcomer will be totally confused. He won't be able to make any head or tail of the landscape of spirituality or the field of spirituality. Remember, this concept of multi-layered knowledge is not very clear. It is hardly discussed. There are no books which are well known about this very basic thing. So I'm making it very, very clear. That will save many years for you. You will not be confused. Everything will be clear for you. Where you are, where you are going. What do you need to do to progress? What your guide is saying? What this other book is saying? Why it is not matching with somebody else? You see, many people who enter spirituality, they see this kind of circus and any intelligent seeker will drop out of it. Because it does not look logical. Because the logical structure is never told. Especially in this age, which is the age of darkness. This is happening here for the first time that I am revealing it so clearly. If you go to a guru, they will say, my path is the best. This knowledge is the last. Come in the ashram from tomorrow. Nobody will tell you that there are other paths, there are other truths, there is a hierarchy of knowledge, there is an end of knowledge, there are lower things. Because probably people feel insulted when they are told that you are at a lower level or something. So everything is covered up, sugar-coated nicely and... Uh, that is a waste of time. It causes the seeker to get derailed many, many times. And this is learnt after many, many years through hit and trial, which is my case also. Nobody told me all these things so clearly. Probably it is told by some, but uh, the newcomer is so new, is so clueless, that they don't encounter this kind of structure, multi-layered knowledge. So hopefully now everything will be clear for you. Hopefully you will remember this thing as you explore the field of spirituality.